Hello, welcome to my channel Studio Arc. So today's theme was ocean theme and I went with the cover spread of ocean theme for my bullet journal. This is an artistic spread, but I think that all of you can also make it because it's uh, not very difficult. It is like it would come naturally to you if you are well aware of how the waves are like the arches. Uh, the arcs the patterns well uh, first of all this was a request uh, for me like a user requested this ocean theme and so I went forward with that first I uh, sketched out the pattern of the wave with my color pencil uh, and I went forward with that like I added strokes I added the rough outline of the wave and it was kind of fun and oceans are generally uh, both chaotic and calm and oceans uh, I could have gone with a beach but I didn't want to draw a beach because I felt that um, I wanted to do something turbulent like express the turbulent emotions like um, it is not always a bad thing to have some chaos uh, some chaos and turbulence so i went with the turbulent aspect of the ocean um i painted the waves with watercolor layering pattern you know like layering the watercolors um i used light blue and dark blue for adding more expression to layers and when i held my brush pen i held it like at an angle which was uh, like 60 degree to 45 degrees and this angle is often um, considered when we are doing calligraphy but I thought that my waves came out better when I held my brush like that I used a flat paintbrush and the waves uh, like the dark and the light pattern of watercolor it went well with the theme of the ocean now I have never drawn an ocean before like I'm serious when I say that because I have drawn the ocean like um, in a very calm manner like you know just a blue layer when I was a kid and even when I did my architectural projects um, I went with uh, just the blue splash but for this time I added in violet color the dark blue the blue and I added it in layers I went with the waves which are like just arches like the pattern of a wave is simply an arch when it rolls over like the when the ocean rolls over in waves so I went with that I added highlights with darker shades uh, and I sort of uh, used the flat tip of the brush to uh, you know segment each layer uh, uh, I could have added green to it but I went with a more uh, uh, reddish tone which is like purple so I went with that um, now it came out nice but I needed it to be highlighted so I went with a ball pen and I added in strokes and simple plain dashes and lines and arches arcs uh, these strokes like uh, when i used my ball pen i used it very lightly i didn't want anything to appear too bold because i felt that a ball pen um, the lighter tone to my waves uh, kind of went well with the overall look the get up and the ocean looked much better the waves looked much better with a lighter shade and even the letterings I took for the theme the letters uh, even the numbers they were kind of matching with the theme of my ocean like they had this wavy form to them more like ribbons ribbony baby form yeah so kind of uh, the ocean is always 
an aspect which shows turbulence chaotic emotions when it comes to emotional level maybe people generally won't take up a turbulent uh, ocean for their next year segment like you know <laughs> generally uh, more auspicious themes are chosen for the new year but like i felt that ocean is even in its most turbulent aspect it is both a threat and also a very um, a very compassionate kind of theme like you know passionate theme and romantic theme so ocean went well with that aspect and oceans are generally very powerful you know strength they show the strength the emotions i wanted to do go with the ocean theme because i felt that it would be nice now for the first page i left the segments um, i drew out the lines with this uh, um the color pencil because uh, well i didn't want anything to be too bold uh, now i could write my thoughts on the first page whatever i am expecting from 2023 or maybe just simply write a poem and for the second page i could like write the target the goals and my expression for 2023 the second page i drew uh, at first i thought i would just paint out a calm ocean which was uh, also related to my first page but at the same time it was the opposite of the emotions that were expressed in my first page but when it came to it i thought that i would just add, add in a little bit of you know color splashes which would seem like the ocean does have a momentum it doesn't have to be always turbulent it can be calm as well but it it always keeps moving and i wanted to show that so i drew a sunset as well to signify that like um the time is running sort of that theme <laughs> anyway uh, i considered it and when it comes to highlighting i used a simple ball pen to highlight the entire ocean length and the waves that i drew um they were like sketched out in a very random pattern and just like the first page which i worked with the second page was also full of uh uh lines and arches which were like closer to a chaos but also very calm dignified sort of like moving momentum waves sort of like that now i know that um the ocean theme was a little bit difficult to work with and not everyone can draw the same type of ocean uh, pattern or wave but maybe it doesn't depends on how you draw it like you just need to draw something abstract for your ocean and you can cover the entire thing with that now i also wanted to show that my ocean is um very uh, like uh, i didn't add too much color in it but i left it be in a water color sort of format and i also had this uh, inspiration that i wanted my page to have this scrapbook kind of look you know like uh, it, like it kind of went well with my theme and this uh, and the scrapbook kind of feel would give it more Uh, like a vintage look maybe uh, or maybe something which was more artistic and it uh, and it certainly was uh, not that difficult to carry out um i had drawn uh, like uh, i had drawn it like a window at first uh, to cut it out like uh, like windows in the page but instead of that i <laughs> i ended up uh, tearing it apart like a scrapbook anyway so uh, but the end result was not bad and it was an entirely uh, different theme but it didn't appear to be that bad and it was like both the pages were connected 
with this scrapbooky kind of window it was a window to my soul <laughs> you can say that and it kind of uh, felt that uh, you are connected with both your emotions uh, like you have this turbulent chaos to you and you also have this calm aspect aspect to you so it kind of felt like uh, both the aspects are merged together and the year ahead would sort of hold both the aspect when it came to uh, like peeping into your emotions then this cover page of ocean certainly felt like i drew something like a theme uh, this theme went well with my planning like i didn't expect my pages to turn out this well but they did turn out well and even if it is a just a simple artistic uh, pattern the cover page sort of looked good for my bullet journal i had previously already drawn uh, the floral theme so this ocean theme was certainly a good experiment for me and it was really good i ended up uh, like like um sort of going along with uh, color pencils paints uh, like just water simple watercolor paint and a ball pen so there was not much of anything else needed for this entire cover page and i think that anyone can do it uh if they like doing something artistic for their cover page and thank you for watching i hope that you subscribe to my channel because it would be really great <laughs> i am lacking in subscribers and i certainly am uh, a person who is very encouraged when i get comments likes or subscribes so yeah i hope that you do that i also tackle uh, certain artistic explorations on my channel like i explore other concepts recent uh, uh, or i will explore other concepts like crafts bookmarks so yeah please subscribe if you are okay with that <laughs> anyway okay bye bye